Good morning from beautiful Malaysia. This is actually our first time in this country. It's been a while since we've both been in a new country together, so this is going to be something new for us as well. We'll start from small states like we are now and then we'll go to the capital. But first, Georgetown and we heard so 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 much good things about it. Georgetown is the colorful capital of the Malaysian island of Penang. Once an important trading hub, the city is now known for these British colonial buildings, Chinese shop houses and mosques, and there's definitely a lot to see here. But the biggest amount of tourists you'll find not next to the temples, not to the government buildings. Most of the tourists you'll find taking photos with the street art. Georgetown is very well famous for street art, and as a Lithuanian, I have to tell you the story behind them. Just a decade ago, a Penang Tourist Board commissioned Lithuanian artist Ernest Zakravich to create murals on six walls in places of historical importance in Georgetown. He used inspirations from the scenes of everyday Malaysian life with local people as models. BBC even called this artist the Malaysian answer to Banksy. Better? Yeah! His success inspired other artists and street art has become a symbol of the city. They're really beautiful. I'm just so sorry that they're in such a bad condition, some of them. They'd be really cool to renew all of them. I'm ready. Show me Malaysia. Your beautiful country. No? He said no. Now we're going to the highest building. And usually, the highest building means there's a lot of things to do at the top. What are Nothing. No, no. You hold the rope. Ooh. This is the 65th floor of the tallest building in Penang. And we're on the outside of it. The leg is shaking. <laughs> the Kampar building offers a thrilling experience for its visitors an obstacle course on the outside of its 65th floor. It's one of the coolest experiences you can try if you're not afraid of heights. This one looked down. My goodness, my goodness, 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 goodness. We don't have to go back. <laughs> you didn't say that. <laughs> She's very scared of it. You'll do it? You'll be okay? You will sit now huh. and do all the challenges. Huh? You won't fall. <laughs> I know, but it's still, it doesn't help me at all. Like just, just look there. at all these people instead. Don't look back. <laughs> no, don't look down. Sit, 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 sit. I'm sitting. No, no, no it doesn't okay, count. <laughs> like this, sit. Oh, this way. Yeah. Just a little more scary. <laughs> One leg, two. Nervous. Ah! I can highly recommend this activity in Penang. It's really cool and the views are incredible. But if you're afraid of height like me, it was hell. I, I mean, it was still beautiful, like those seconds when I was like. You still stop to yeah. take a lot of videos and pictures? I'm, I mean, through the camera, I'm totally fine <laughs> to see everything. When I just take the camera away, I was like, okay. <laughs> And, and the bridge was like, I don't know what, like, dizzy, dizzy painting, here. leg shaking. <laughs> it's like, it is safe because you're, you're tied, but still, I mean, if you think about it, you could still, your legs would give out and you could faint. You could still get hurt a little bit, so it's still a little bit of an adrenaline rush. But it's a great place to get those emotions and, you know, like, Endorphins I'm running. alive. <laughs> <laughs> I'm alive afterwards, yes, I'm alive. No. <laughs> So now we're gonna go a little bit out of the city. Uh, we didn't rent a bike, however, the best part is that the bus system here is really, really good. And if you take the bus that's labeled cat on it, it is absolutely for free to encourage people to use the public transportation. So this place is really good for budget-friendly travelers. It's also a great way to see the city for free. We are in Keklasi Temple, which used to be just a little tiny shrine, completely changed and transformed into one of the biggest temples in Southeast Asia. The bottom of the temple, look how many turtles. I've never seen so many. They think it's food. They're trying to jump up to get my GoPro. Climb, climb, it's food. 
really nice thing about the temple. It is that everybody's welcome to even say it on the doors. It doesn't matter what religion you are, come to the temple. If you're a tourist, come to the temple. And it's absolutely for free. I'm really not easily impressed, but the ceiling is so etiquette and so, so beautiful. So they said there's 4,000 Buddhists in this room alone, and for each Buddha they make food here. The monks and the, the Buddhists prepare the food every day fresh. There's always a bowl of rice and some vegetables for every single Buddha here. 4,000. And here at the top of the temple, you'll see a statue of Guan Yi, 30 meters high, made entirely out of bronze. I've personally never seen a statue this size before. Now we're climbing to the top of a pagoda of 10,000 Buddhists. They said there's 10,000 different Buddhists here. I'm not gonna count, but the interesting part is how they combine three different cultures, and you can see the different tiles here, different Buddhists themselves, Chinese at the bottom, Thai in the middle, and it's top Burmese. And now we are going to the most popular attraction here, but for a reason. It offers the most stunning views of Penang. I'll show you, come on. Five stars, right? Uh-huh, I thought it was going to go slow. Oh, boy, third two. Swiss engineering. So to get to the best viewpoint of Penang, you have to walk 1.5 kilometers through the jungle. The con is that we hear all these strange noises and I feel like we might be attacked any moment. But the pro is you're always in the shade. Oh, good way to cool off, guys. I don't want to go there. Welcome to jungle. <laughs> Listen to this. Doing? So great news. Here we can see blue coral snake, um, the other snake, striped coral snake, and also, they have some messages to you, like, I'm hiding in the leaf litter. Be careful when you see me. So that's where are they hiding, those creatures. There are millions of them there, I know it. <laughs> also, you know, maybe it's not the best idea to look for something that you're afraid of. So <laughs> but let's go to I would love to welcome you in the regular 7-Eleven store of Penang. As always, we have some uh, scorpions, snakes, um, spiders, and other cute creatures. Do you take cash or just card? You can just eat. I will give you money for this. <laughs> <laughs> Mosquitoes, they won't attack me. <laughs> Very enjoyable walk, right? <laughs> oh, look, monkey. Hello. Do you have a banana? Here, banana. Oh, crap. There's more. Where? Look on the floor. Oh. Hello. 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 <gasps> and there are one. This one is the most aggressive one. Look. He looks at your camera. He thinks it's a banana on top. <laughs> See, I don't want to. He wants my stick. He's attacking you. Yeah, he wants my stick. He thinks I'm fighting him. Smile. Woo. He got scared. Okay, okay, okay. So I'm leaving. I'm leaving. <laughs> we're for too long, they're a little aggressive. <laughs> Who's attacking us? He literally chased me out. I'm leaving, I'm leaving. And we're finally here, 800 meters above sea level, the highest point in Penang, 360 degree view of this ancient forest, Georgetown, and mainland Malaysia. If you're looking for a reason why to come to Malaysia, just take a look at this. This is one of the main attractions and there's nobody here, not a single person. You're not going to get that in any other Southeast Asian country. And there you see Georgetown and the tallest building we were at. But I think it's enough for today. We still got to get back before the mosquitoes eat us. Yeah, I see it. 
or not but one scene is definitely has to be in your list and it is trying the local food because Penang is known uh, for one of the best food in Malaysia and in general like a food paradise we are going to eat a lot So this meal right here is called Asam Laksa. It is it was included by CNN in one of the world's greatest food. I can tell you right now, it looks absolutely delicious and it smells amazing. Mmm. So so good. So the noodles are great, everything is amazing, but the stock is so flavorful. Just just this alone deserves to be one of the greatest food in the world. I don't know where you're watching this from, but if you come from Europe or America, the food there is so tasteless, you can say. Here the food is so flavorful. They put so many different seasonings, so many different spices to make noodles so flavorful. Just the noodles itself. You can just eat this all day. You can't stop this guy. <laughs> I can't stop eating. <laughs> I ordered and not the spicy one. It is so spicy. He gave me the spices. I didn't put it on it. Coconut, grapes. Mmm, crispy. Yeah, very crispy. That's a great dessert. Coconut flavor. Mm hmm Very messy. I am full. No more, guys. Penang really exceeded our expectations. However, we gotta head home to start packing. We're still staying in Malaysia, so we hope that you will leave us a comment of any other places we should go. And thank you for watching so much, and we'll see you on our next adventure.